would pull in millions of subscribers and over 400 million views. Hodge twins would dish out their brutal honesty and hilarious started their workout regimen, got super ripped and became the titans of fitness they are today. This is high school. What, 11th grade? I was number 14, yeah. Hodge twins were accused of using steroids to gain that muscle during their training. Before they were invited to fitness expos across the country and even got to meet the Terminator himself. The Hodge twins grew up in poverty with their family out in Virginia, sometimes not even having enough food to eat. So they resorted to stealing to curb their hunger pains. Fast forward 40 years and the handsome twins have become gym gurus, preaching natural ways for those looking to get all kinds of gains while having a good laugh. But their transformation in size was so impressive, some thought it was suspicious and accused them of using steroids. So what does Arnold Schwarzenegger have to say about all this? Well the guy was known for using a bit in the past himself, so he doesn't care. What's going on guys, my name is Michael McCrudden, documenting the rise to fame of the hilarious duo the Hodge Twins, here for you on Before They Are Famous. Now you guys requested this video in excess, so be sure to let me know as always in the comments down below who you want me to document next. What's up, everybody? Stick it in, stick it in. Oh, yeah, rock. Keith and Kevin Hodge were born on September 17, 1975, in Martinsville, Virginia. They were the youngest in their family with an older brother and sister and were actually very shy. Now, of the pair, Kevin is more laid back, while Keith, he's more serious. But growing up side by side really helped the two come out of their shells. The Hodge family unfortunately did not have a lot of money to their name. Often they didn't have enough money for food. And it's hard to get gains without that protein. Now, seeing as this was a family with four young mouths to feed, the family, they got creative. The grandmother, she would pick apples from the neighbor's tree, so the mom, she could cook a pot. Keith and Kevin, well, they got a good idea out of this little trick and took it a step further. They would go to grocery stores and plan to steal food as a team, assigning items to each other and making sure they weren't in there longer than a few minutes. It was a quick in and out job. That's what she said. Sorry, I couldn't resist. You go in and get the bread, I'll get the bologna, and boom, they had themselves some lunch. I'm gonna take the hamburger meat. Put it in here, just like that. And with the two of them looking the exact same, they were doing double duty, tricking people, doing all sorts of stuff. Pretty clever kids. Now, stealing isn't something they condone at that time in their lives. It was a necessity, and I'm happy they're getting all these YouTube views. Because the size of them now, if it was a necessity, well, people better watch out. Now, as the two got older, they found they were natural performers, but certainly ended up taking the long route on their way to getting into the entertainment industry. They started out the professional path to explore careers in finance, as well as the U.S. Marine Corps. It wasn't until Keith had the idea that he and his six foot four twin should quit their jobs and follow their dreams of making people laugh while inspiring them to live healthier lives. Here, Kevin agreed, and the funny thing was they were both working for the same company. So they just lost two big dudes. I hope it wasn't a construction job. Yeah, even into their 30s, these brothers were inseparable. That sounds like so much fun. Hmm. In fact, I wish I had a twin. Yeah, then we could host the show together. Yeah, we <laughs> could, or well, we could take turns hosting and just do as many videos as possible. No, dude, think of it this way. We could do half of the work. <laughs> yeah, genius. I knew having a twin would be fun. All right, Michael, let's give it a go. Keith and Kevin started off with some acting classes and found they both took really well to improv. It suited their personalities and being twins and all, they knew the other's sense of humor, so they were able to play off each other really, really well. It's like acting in a mirror, almost like being an actor on steroids. Not the literal sense, but like, you know, an enhanced form. You know what I mean? Regardless, they had some serious twinning going on. Actually, a competitor of me when I was on IO Trends, we both talked about Kendra Sunderland. I ended up dating her. Well, me and her had a date and it was fantastic. It wasn't a date. What do you mean? I, I, I brought you to Tim Hortons and Yeah, and you ate all the Timbits. I did it to catch on like it did, and soon their fans were sending them emails asking for relationship advice. And it was so overwhelming, the Hodge twins started a new series of candid videos where they gave blunt and often hilarious advice. Soon after, the two decided to focus on fitness videos, and they took this very seriously. They were interested in health, but first had to answer their own harshest critic, the mirror. I'm not talking about one another. Neither of them liked how they looked, so they first started working out to improve their own fitness levels and wanted to take their viewers along for the ride. They poured their hearts out into the making of their first video, but the internet can be a cruel place. And when they read the comments, they saw people saying, well, that's terrible advice. You just ruined all your credibility with one video. Ouch. 
Well, the boys, they didn't take kindly to that, so they decided to end all their future videos with a disclaimer. Come one of their catchphrases, and the fans, well, they loved it. Their channel became the go to and rock solid, but also includes more comments and stories about life in general. Sadly, on the morning of September 16, 2013, their mother, she passed away. They told their fans online, and soon the response video, well, it was flooded with condolences. I'm very sorry, Keith and Kevin, for your loss. I know what it is to lose a mother. And though many people think these two boys they live together, well, they're all wrong. Kind of. The two actually bought a custom townhouse right next to one another. And believe it or not, these two studs are taken and happily married. Sorry, ladies. <clears throat> and, well, a few fellas. That twin of mine, he's single. And into the fellas. Not me, just the other guy. You know what I mean. Dude, what are you doing? Their channels, The Hodge Twins, Twin Muscle Workout, As Hodge Twins, and their vlog channel have earned a respectable 3 million loyal subscribers and grossed over 400 million views in total. They also got their own line of gym apparel together. It's clear now that the twins, they are doing their dream job, and they have a lot of opportunities landing in their lap. They're currently developing their own TV show where they're going to get to work with several comedians they've always admired. Kind of like me taking this to the level where I get to sit down with Jim Carrey. Although I have sit down with Jim Carrey's sister, true story, but you know Jim would be just next level. Michael on iOS. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before their fans. My name is Michael Krat. Thanks for checking out my personal channel. I do all sorts of celebrity bios on here. I've done a bunch of YouTubers in the past. I feel like I've almost done all of them, but that's impossible. There's so many of you. Let us know in the comments down below who you want to hear about next. Check out our other videos. Hit subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video.